it's always a bit frustrating when you finally make a decision that you're going to go with a particular operating system or let's say in the case of exchange you decide you're going to go with exchange service pack one to then find out that there is a standard and an enterprise version of the same software and this is true of server 2003 server 2008 and it's true of exchange 2007 there's a standard and an enterprise edition of exchange 2007 so it's important to know what the differences are between the two so that you make sure you have the software that you need based upon what it is you're looking to accomplish so if we look at the standard edition of exchange this allows the creation of up to five storage groups and the creation of up to five databases per mailbox server and just to mention here you can put more than one database within a storage group however Microsoft recommends that you put one database in one storage group the standard edition also supports only local continuous replication and standby continuous replication these are the only two high availability options you can use with standard edition now the enterprise edition of exchange 2007 this allows for the creation of up to 50 storage groups and also allows for the creation of up to 50 databases per mailbox server it also supports all four flavors of high availability local continuous replication cluster continuous replication standby continuous replication and single copy clusters but you remember we mentioned earlier that there are different editions of server 2003 and server 2008 in order to use CCR and SCC you need the enterprise edition of server which has the clustering capabilities so by keeping the differences in mind between the standard and enterprise editions this will help you to make a decision as to which one is best for your environment and you may want to do a little bit of research because there are client access licenses that also come into play with Exchange Server 2007 Exchange Server 2007 is offered in two client access license editions standard and enterprise the standard provides access to email shared calendaring and Outlook web access but the enterprise client access license is added on and provides additional features like unified messaging a client access license is required for every user or device that accesses the server so along with making decisions about which edition of exchange you need to utilize you also have to consider your client access licenses and determine the type of client access license your users will need